The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 477. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the founder of Pure Lease, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Jennifer Yen. Jennifer, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. I'm doing well, thank you. So um, my name is Jennifer Yen. I'm the founder of Pure Lease. So I used to be a former TV villainess fighting Power Rangers, and now I love to save complexions with Pure Lease, my skincare and cosmetics company inspired by my grandmother's Asian beauty secrets. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And that's pretty cool. You played a villain on um, Power Rangers. That's pretty awesome. And Jennifer, what's your cultural background? So I'm Chinese American, uh, but I was born in Taiwan, and I came to America when I was five. Thanks for sharing that. And what be your favorite self-confidence quote? My favorite self-confidence quote is, the only time you should ever look back is to see how far you've come. And that is more anonymous. The reason why I love this quote is because we all make mistakes or, you know, we can't really choose like where we were born or, you know, where we're from. But um, you can only control present and future. So, you know, I think this quote resonates with me because, you know, you don't need to get caught up with like your past mistakes or thinking about should I have, could I have, would I have, you know, just like about living in the present and moving forward. And it's nice to, you know, reflect and it, it brings me satisfaction for me to reflect, but also to know that I've come a long way. Thanks for sharing that quote. And, you know, I totally agree with you with looking back and seeing how, like, you know, what you've accomplished, right? Maybe the first time you rode a bike, right? It was scary, but now you're like, you know, riding a bike like a pro. And when you look back, seeing like how scared you are, it just gives you that confidence boost to keep on going and to see what else you're capable of. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? You know, I define self-confidence by truly winning from within, and that is through experience, achievement, and having overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And Jennifer, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? You know, I grew up in Alabama, not you know, being the only Asian girl, being predominantly, you know, Caucasian friends, and it wasn't very diverse. So, you know, I think that I had may, maybe sort of cultural crisis or identity, like, who do I identify with? Well, I'm Chinese, I'm Chinese, but yet I'm in America. And, you know, it, it was sort of living in this state of confusion and not know who you are, which direction you want to go. But it wasn't until I went to college, and I was around you know, what I, what I didn't know back then and what I know now is, like, there are so many people who came from different countries, different places, and they were all, we we're all immigrants at one point in our lives, our family lineage were. And it's just, in actually going to college in Boston, I went, I attended Boston University, it was such an eye-opener because I didn't feel that I was the odd person out. And as I become older and I started taking on risk. You know, I became an actress when I first moved to LA. And then, you know, there was a lot of failure and rejection with that too. And then also as an entrepreneur. And I think that now, you know, I love, I embrace my uniqueness. I embrace my dual heritage, you know, because I am very American, but yet I'm still very Chinese. So it's actually creating that your own sort of identity. And I'm not the only one who feels that way. And that's really, really great to know. And I just love that I'm confident and I live in my confidence and I really embrace my past and I embrace my heritage. I embrace my decisions. And it's a really great place to be when you when that happens. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, that's something we all go through, especially you know, as an Asian person moving to a, a different country like America and Canada. You know, we look different from everyone else and we feel like we're all, all alone. And, you know, it's great that you're able to realize that when you went to college that, you know, there's more than one person who is 
who has similar situations like you and you're able to embrace it. And because of that, what's your life been like now? I feel, well, I feel that I can achieve and do whatever I set out to do. Like, I feel like I'm an, I'm unstoppable. And if I want to do something, I will do it and I can do it. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, that's a great feeling when you can just know that you can do whatever it takes, right? Even if we go through failures, we just know in ourselves, you know, we just have that inner knowing that it can be done and we can do it and we just have to keep on going. So thanks for sharing that. And Jennifer, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What'd be that one tip you would give to her? You just have to keep going. I mean, it's, it's really simple and we all have setbacks. It is really about getting up and doing it over and over and over again, because that's what it takes. Thanks for sharing that. That's a great tip. And I totally agree. You know, a lot of people see failure as something negative when it's really something positive, right? It just builds strength within us to keep going, to keep getting back up whenever we fall down and to know that, you know, we have what it takes to go out there and do what we love and achieve whatever, you know, we believe in or set our minds to. So thanks for sharing that great tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, sure. So my Instagram is Jenyen One. That's J E N Y E N, the number one. And also my uh, beauty company is purelease.com. That's P U R L I S S E dot com. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Jennifer, you can also head on over to the com and search for Jennifer's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I just really want to thank Jennifer today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Not a problem. It was great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.